Look who's back for the double review. It's about that time of season, isn't it? Isn't it, Grinch? I thought your heart grew three times the size at one point. What happened? That's right, today, double review, both selections, perfect for the season. New Rift Winter Whiskey and the Bartstown Bourbon Company Goose Island Bourbon County Stout Finished Bourbon. With December going fast, gotta get these reviews in. Let's get the details and try them both. It's the Mash and Drum and the Grinch. What's up folks, I'm Jason C for The Mash and Drum and welcome back to the show. Please like, subscribe, do all the things you need to do to help grow the channel, really appreciate the support. So let's dive into the first review. Back in late 2020, New Riff released three new products featuring experimental mash bills. You had the maltster wheat and the maltster rye, experimenting with wheat, malted rye, and corn, and then you had this winter whiskey. Now New Riff Winter Whiskey, which is a bourbon, is a four to five year old bottled and bond bourbon that uses malted oats, and roasted chocolate malted barley to create a bourbon that highlights the team's prior experience as beer brewers. So bottled and bond, non-chill filtered, aged at least four years, but supposedly closer to five years, 100 proof, mash bill 65 corn, 20% malted oats, 7% pale ale malt, 5% steel cut raw oats, and 3% chocolate malt. MSRP for this was about 50 to 60 bucks. Now when folks hear chocolate malt, I feel like they immediately think sweet, but chocolate malt is a deeply roasted variety of malted barley. So it's named more for its color than specifically the flavor that it imparts. It's usually in small quantities in the making of styles for porter, stout, which contributes a lot of color to the final beer while also contributing drier, roasty type of flavors. So let's see if we get any of that in the new riff. So not as expected on the nose here. I thought this was gonna be a lot more chocolate forward, just again, based on the uh, the description or the mash bill. But I think what I get more is a dark roasted nuttiness to it. And this is opening up nicely. More of that cocoa powder is coming through. I wouldn't say it's like a sweet chocolate, but more of a bitter chocolate. Definitely a little bit of sweet oak in there too. But it really is coming off more of a finished bourbon, more than something with let's you know experimental mash bill in it. You expect it to come in with a lot more of like a stout or porter type of nose to it but it really kind of keeps its bourbon backbone. So let's give it a go. So the first thing that hits you is, is a little bit of the dryness of it. And I think it's because of that, that, you know, that chocolate malted note to it where it's a little bit drying, it's that, that cocoa powder. Yeah, it's very chocolatey, it's very spicy. It's got way more spice than I thought it would. Yeah, it's got a lot of spice to it, which I really dig. Man, if this just was, you know, the typical, just kind of a chocolatey forward bourbon with no spice, then I might not like it as much, but I love the spice that's happening on this on the back end of it. Yeah, it's getting into this like really nice chocolate, little bit of coffee realm to it. Not a ton of, not, not like a, a huge depth of flavor to this, but I think what it's supposed to do, it's doing well. It's giving you all that, that maltiness, the chocolatiness, there's definitely a nuttiness to it. Almost like chocolate covered, like chocolate covered almonds or something like that, chocolate covered peanuts. Again, that spice just kind of hangs out. It, it is a little drying, I think, because of that chocolate malt, but it really isn't that, it's not that bad. Cause it's almost, it's almost dessert-like. You get all that chocolate, the sweetness, the cocoa powder. This is nice, I, I'm not sure what I expected with this one. But I do like, for 50 to 60 bucks, it's a nice winter sipper. Coffee, chocolate, a little bit of, I am starting to get a little bit of the youthful undertones on the back end of this. But I don't mind it as much because the front of the palate's so good. And it does have a spicy finish that kind of, you know, overtakes that part a little bit. But if you didn't want to spend, you know, 160 for the Woodford Reserve Stouted Mash whiskey that was out, you know, earlier in the year, um, or any other uh, expensive stout cask finished whiskeys. This uh, winter whiskey is a is a nice alternative. I'm not sure how available this is, but if New Riff is available by you and your area does get the special releases, 
for 50 or 60 bucks, I dig this one, especially around the holidays. I will say it's a mood pour. This isn't something I'm gonna wanna drink, you know, every single, you know, every time I'm in the mood to drink a bourbon. I'm gonna have to be in the mood for this one. Okay, before we taste the Bardstown, it's time to hear about your last chance on grabbing something one of a kind from Original Grain for 30% off right before the holidays here, guys. The perfect gifts for the whiskey lover in your life. Check it out. All right, guys, Original Grain, Mash and Drum's newest sponsor, has been making watches from unique materials for almost a decade. Now, I'm a watch guy, but when I heard Original Grain was making watches, sunglasses, rings, and more inlaid with whiskey barrel wood, I was all in. Now their Whiskey Barrel series, which I'm wearing right here, is crafted with reclaimed American oak bourbon barrel wood. You could see the barrel wood in each detail of the watch. So two things. One, they have many different colors and options to match up with your personal style. And two, with the holidays upon us, is the perfect gift that doesn't break the bank. And it's not just whiskey barrels. They have options made from tailored guitars, tequila barrels, beer barrels, military ammo crates for anyone with a military background, and even watch bands for Apple watches inlaid with whiskey wood. They even just launched a limited edition collection in collaboration with Buffalo Trace to inlay their watches with reclaimed Buffalo Trace bourbon barrels with a hand torched finish. They're beautiful. So no matter what you resonate with, there is a perfect watch for you and any loved one. 100% money back guarantee, veteran and family owned company, Free shipping, great warranty, there's a lot to like here. Okay, so time's running out for the holidays, here's how to get it. Click the link below in the description, go to originalgrain.com slash mash and use code mash at checkout. They are currently running a 20% off Black Friday deal right now, but using my link and code will give you an extra 10% off. So that makes it a total of 30% off. This is the highest markdown you're gonna get for the holidays. Now click that link below and go shopping. Happy holidays, everybody. So the Barstown Bourbon Company's collaborative series has brought a ton of great finishes from Irish whiskey to wine casks, Armagnac, rum, and more. Now beer finishes have been trending up this year with Bardstown already releasing their Founders Brewing Stout finish. They have followed it up with another beer finish, this time instead of Tennessee bourbon that was in the Founders. This is a 12 year old Kentucky bourbon finished in the Chicago based Goose Island Bourbon County Stout barrels for 13 months, 13. This is a bottle of the Goose Island Bourbon County Stout, which is a pillar of the barrel-aged beer category. It was first brewed by former brewmaster Greg Hall all the way back in 1992 with the help of Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Famer Booker No, former master distiller of Jim Beam and grandson of Jim Beam. Now, the pair met at a dinner in Indiana and the rest is history. Now, it wasn't until 2005 that Goose Island first offered the beer to the public. Just one bottle, which was a chocolatey bourbon forward brew with a hell of an alcohol content. After that, this bottle evolved into a seven part lineup founded in 2010 that starts with this, the original, the original stout aged in bourbon barrels, and then includes ever changing variants that are released on Black Friday each and every year. So the bourbon, 111.4 proof, price at 170 bucks. As I said, 12 year old Kentucky bourbon finishing those Bourbon County stout casks. Now the catch with this one though, is that it's an Illinois release only where Goose Island Brewing is located. So let's see if this is worth calling everyone you know in Illinois to try to get one of these. Now I cannot wait to try this. I wish I could compare it to the Founders stout finish that I had earlier in the year, but I killed that bottle. It went fast because it was that good. That one used that Tennessee whiskey, the Dickel in it. It had that orange, that charred orange to go with the that chocolatey finish that the uh, Founders uh, Brewing Stout had. Let's see what this one does. Oh my gosh, this is, okay. This is well beyond what I remembered from the Founders. Oh, this is Cherry Garcia ice cream in a glass, but with like extra chocolate. Oh my gosh. It's like those little like candies, like the chocolate covered cherries with like that cherry goo that's in it. And you take a bite and the goo just like spills out. Oh my gosh. Tons of vanilla, sweet oak in here too. Yeah, the chocolate level on this is even higher than what we had in the New Earth Winter Whiskey. It's like a waffle cone. Like I smell like a toasted waffle cone with vanilla ice cream cherries and just chocolate fudge just drenched on top of it holy crap that smells delicious all right well we're gonna try this one <laughs> even he's excited all right you definitely get that beer finish on it i mean i drink bourbon county stout obviously i have a few bottles of it 
So I, I feel like I, I could taste it on the on this uh, on this bourbon, and that is not a bad thing because I think it's playing really well with the bourbon. Now, as I said, it was finished for 13 months, 13 months in those Goose Island beer casts. So not a long, not a short time. Talking a year plus. Much more cherry on the palate. Like cher I did not. Where is the cherry coming from? Because if they're using just their regular Goose Island stout, the cherry is really prevalent to me. This is very cherry and I'm loving it. Like Luxardo cherry syrup. Again, like those little candies. The beer finish on it, I could definitely taste that Goose Island Bour Bourbon County stout on it. Damn, that is nice. Nice little spice to it, not like overbearing. I think I got more spice on the new riff than this one. This isn't like milk chocolate or dark chocolate. This is chocolate fudge. Like the chocolate fudge, I always felt like, I don't know about you guys, let me know down in the comments. Chocolate fudge to me has a very distinct character to it. There's a, there's a definite flavor. Like if I melted a bar of milk chocolate or dark chocolate on ice cream versus putting that hot chocolate fudge on it, there's a difference. And that chocolate fudge is what I'm getting in this. It's like a fudge brownie. This is dessert in a, in a bottle, in a glass. It's nice. But yeah, I mean, again, very similar to the new riff. This, it does what it does. It's not overly complex, but it does what it does and it does it very well. But do you want to pay $160, $170 for this? The new riff, I would say is less complex than this. And that's about 50 to 60 bucks. So it really just gonna depend on, on what your price point is. But I will say, if you enjoyed the founders from Bardstown Bourbon Company this year, I think this is actually better than that one. To taste such a, like a ridiculous fudge brownie on the palate is really, like you get that sometimes, but it's really prevalent in here. Yeah. If you know someone in Illinois and you're liking those flavors that I'm describing, you're going to want to try to get one of these. I definitely like this over the new riff, but if you don't want to spend the money on this, look for that new riff winter whiskey. It's, it's a really good alternative as well. If you like those chocolatey flavors. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this double review for the New Riff Winter Whiskey and the Bartstown Bourbon Company Goose Island Bourbon County Style Finished Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments if uh, you guys have found this one quite yet or any of these, uh, what you think of it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers. Cheers from the Grinch too, right? No? Let's see what's going on with him. See you next time on the Mastin Drum. Cheers, guys. Thank you.